Okay, so good morning, YouTube. We are currently at breakfast. The day's just started. What's the time? The time is four minutes past eight, and we are at a place called Tartine, uh, very famous for their sourdough bread. Um, we've just ordered breakfast. We've got two ham and cheese croissant sandwiches, a side of sausage, a side of granola and yogurt, uh, toast, which is obviously sourdough. I got a chai latte, and Ricky got a flat white. So yeah. We're just waiting, I'm gonna show you the menu now. So our food has arrived. Yogurt with a granola, side of sausage. Yep, all homemade. Yeah. So let's give it a taste, and we'll let you know how it how it is. Yeah. Okay, guys. So this is the tartine we went to. This is the factory store, which has more seating. They have two stores, and this one has more seating than the other one. So apparently, there's usually a long line outside the other one because it's uh, a lot smaller. This food was absolutely amazing. So guys, if you look outside of Tartine, literally going all the way down, they have loads of what looks like olive trees to me. Yeah, all, all down these streets, olive trees. We have left Tartine and that breakfast was so good. We had um, ham, egg and avocado croissants which also had like green peppers inside and it was the taste, the flavour, oh wow. What was the sauce called? Aggie? Ahi. Ahi. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was so good. I need to learn how to recreate that when I get back to England because that was just banging. It was amazing. Yeah, and now we've just uh, taken a journey to Coming back after World the Painted Ladies. Painted ladies, you probably remember this from Full House. You're supposed to be able to see the city, but because it's foggy, it's only nine o'clock, and the fog doesn't burn off until about midday. So you yeah. can't, can't see the city, but you can see them. There's other things to see. Yeah, I'm gonna turn the camera around. So these were the first seven homes built on this square in Alamo Square when it was when it was made in 1875 and if you've ever seen the program Full House the opening scene is them having a picnic or a little party over here and then it pans round to the city which is you're meant to see it but because it's so foggy you can't see it which is just behind those houses and that is what gives these painted ladies their name and I just heard that from a man talking about it over there okay guys so we've left the painted ladies and now we have come to visit the Mrs. Doubtfire house. So obviously we are being the tourists that we are and we are visiting some movie location set, um, settings. And here is the Mrs. Doubtfire house. So, is it? Yeah, it is. No. So I really hate to look like a tourist, but I'm gonna look like a tourist anyway. This is the Mrs. Doubtfire house, as you can tell. Thought I'll get a couple of views of it. This is where the house is for Mrs. Doubtfire. So guys, just for another angle. So we are in some San Francisco neighborhood on our way to the That's So Raven house. On our scooters. So guys, this is the That's So Raven house. That's So Raven. Okay guys, so me and Ricky have just gone to see the Mrs. Doubtfire house. We've seen the That's So Raven house. And now we are on, um, what area is this called? 
Street. Hawk Street. Oh, Port Street. So this is basically where the hippie movement started back in the 60s. And if you look around, everything is so hipster. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have a little browse, have a little look around, then yeah, see what's, see what's going on. So we are just taking a walk down Hawk Street. Very, very hipster. Look. It's so 60s, like disco-y. Skipping drag race. Watch Sam squeeze. Okay guys, so now we are in the Golden Gate State Park and we are going on a hunt to go and find the Japanese Tea Garden, which is in the park somewhere. It is the, is it the oldest tea garden? Japanese tea garden? There was something behind it, I can't remember what it was, but we are on our way there now, so we will soon find out. So we are currently walking through the Golden Gate Park which is a really big park by the way guys. It's bigger than Central Park in New York City. These are the big Californian redwood trees, which we actually also have in the UK in the Isle of Wight. So this is the route. We just saw a sign that said that there's coyotes in the area. And if you see some, then walk away slowly. Don't run because they will attack you and you've got to keep them safe. Part of the walk if oh, look. The they're doing something. They're doing something. Yeah, they're making music with um they're making noise with um you know it's some type of meditation. I don't know the correct terminology for it. So we've come to a part of the park where there is a Ferris wheel. Uh, I don't know what that building is, but there's a fountain and some more fountains. Aquarium. An aquarium over there. They've got these cute like stores where they sell uh, coffee and pastries, hot dogs, you name it. <coughs> so yeah, we're just still on our way to the Japanese tea garden. The temperature has dropped and yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm in shorts. It's because we're in the... Um so, just for the sake of it, these are the rates to get into the Japanese tea garden. And we are currently walking in. Ooh. We have just entered the Japanese tea garden. So, as you can see, very very oriental so we're gonna have a walk around and see oh we saw that here's a bridge that you can walk over So I'm currently at the top of this bridge and I want to walk down so you guys can see how it is. If I don't fall. Ow! Oh my god. That's that bridge. Bit weird, but you know. Wow, look at all of this. Beautiful. So yeah, this is the Japanese tea garden in San Francisco, in the Golden Gate Park. Oh, bugs. I swallowed a bug. Oh, this is really pretty. The 
they've used bamboo for the um, fencing. And look how beautiful these trees are. Wow, it's really nice actually. Yeah, so guys, it's uh, £16 per adult if you want to enter the Japanese tea garden. And you can walk around, they have a cafe. I don't know if we're going to visit the cafe. Are we going to visit the cafe? Yes. We are going to visit the cafe. And there's a massive tree here, it looks about 300 years old. Probably more. And they've got really beautiful flowers as well. Now they do have an array of really beautiful flowers here. I'm just going to walk through and show you some. Now what I would love to know is if these flowers are actually Japanese natives, but couldn't be too sure. Also at the Japanese tea garden you will find these statues. Um, Japanese architecture and this is the little tea garden cafe that they have going on where they sell these so we have we are at the Japanese tea garden cafe where we ordered this tea what tea is this a Japanese green tea. We ordered some mochi, which comes with what looks like what are those things put again. Thank you. We ordered this doya doya something, but it's a bean paste and a pancake and some uh, fried chicken. So also in the tea garden, they have this cool shop where they sell loads of authentic uh, Japanese uh, knickknacks, should I call them? Which is really cool. Teapots. I really like the design of these kind of teapots. So we are currently going into the Walt Disney Family Museum. So these are all of Walt Disney's awards. His Grammy. So these are vintage toys of Mickey Mouse and if you ask me, they look quite scary. Look at that one. To think that uh, an adult ticket in Disneyland used to be £2.50. Not anymore. So this is how they would film a Disney movie with the backdrop here and then if they needed to add you know scenes it would go here there etc and the camera's up there filming through and i'm guessing that would run and that's how they would film a disney movie
So I've stopped at this food truck, El Fuego, to get some birria tacos. Oh, this is gonna be good. So we stop, just gonna eat this beautiful looking birria tacos. Look at that birria. And look at the view, if it will focus. That is the view. Yum. We just came to get a better view of the Golden Gate Bridge. So there's the Walt Disney Museum in those buildings here. And there's the bridge. We've arrived back at our hotel. And as you can see, the sky is always so much bluer when you come down. So this is the little dining hall in our hotel. It's the preparing for a wedding. So me and Ricky are just on our way back out of our hotel. We stopped off for about an hour. Um, just to have a little sit down, have a rest for a minute. Then now we're back on our way out. So what we're gonna do, I need to go to the Nike store, which is just down the road, because I need to get some new laces for my sneakers. Um, and then I think, do you know what we're doing next? We're gonna ride a cable car, we're gonna do Pier 39 in the, in, in the, day. In the day. So we're gonna go and ride a cable car, we're gonna do Pier 39 in the day. Just Tonight we're going to have some um, dim sum for dinner, so that's going to be nice. Wait, we're just on our way out of the hotel as we speak. So in tradition, here we go, down another San Francisco hill. This one's called Knob Hill. Hill. So guys, we are currently just about to hit Union Square. We're gonna head into Walgreens. And then we're gonna to go to the Nike store so I can get some shoelaces. But yeah, Union Square. We have actually ticked off near enough everything on our list in San Francisco. And we are actually leaving tomorrow. What time are we leaving tomorrow? Nine o'clock, we have to leave. 9 a.m. in the morning, we will be leaving and we'll be beginning our Californian road trip all the way down to Los Angeles. So we are in Walgreens. Ricky needs something for a sore throat. So we're just gonna look around for that. So guys, one thing I think is really cool about some American stores is like, this is like, you can see what's in there just by the screen on the front of the fridge. But we don't have that in the UK. But you can also see <laughs> Ricky says, but you can also see in there when it's all clear, so like, what's the point? Which is true. So we have made it to the Nike store. So I just need to come in here and get some shoelaces. Wave. So we're just walking into Neyman Marcus because it looks really pretty. Well, that's grand, isn't it? So we just looked <clears throat> all over the place for some shoelaces. We went into Macy's, we went into like so many different shops. Couldn't find laces anywhere. Finally, I go into Skechers and I find the right laces. In fact, there were laces in Walgreens, but they wasn't the right laces. I wanted laces that are good for like Jordan 1s. Couldn't find it, but I found it, so I'm all good. Thank you. Yeah, so found them in the end. In fact, show them, get them. They weren't just one pair of laces. It's loads of laces. I only needed one singular lace. So we just got off the cable car and it was a really good experience. When you come to San Francisco, you haven't been unless you've been on that cable car. So I'm gonna post the videos of that now. Only not right side.
So guys, this is a lot of street. <laughs> Then when we got off at Fisherman's Walk, we went and got some Irish coffee, which is like coffee with some type of whipped milk, and then they give you a shot of whiskey to put inside it. So we got one of those, and now we are at Ghirardelli's. Um, so we're just gonna have a wander around here, see what's going on. And tonight for dinner, we're gonna get some dim sum. Can't leave San Francisco without getting dim sum, can we? Yeah. So we have come to a place called Palette Tea House for some dim sum, fresh lobster. We heard about this place all over YouTube, all over TikTok. So we thought we'll give it a go. And here we are. Okay guys, so we are here, we are at uh, dim sum. These are the chef specials, which I showed earlier, and this is the main menu, which Ricky is currently reading right now. These are the plates that they give, yeah, they feel really nice. We've heard really good things about this place, so we're looking forward to it. So we're just choosing what we want from our Zoom fun right now. So our duck spring rolls have arrived. They look quite good. So some more of our dim sum has arrived. This is uh, barbecue pork uh, bao buns, the shrimp and pork shumai, and the dumpling. Ooh, so next we got this nice chai su pork. It looks absolutely delicious. Lastly, we got this seafood noodle with scallops, prawns, and some type of fish. Cowfish? How did you enjoy your dim sum? It was nice. I like the pork the best. Yeah? That was the best. Yeah, the, the pork was the nicest. The shumai wasn't what I expected, but it was still nice at the end of the day. So guys, we are back at Pier 39. So we are just having a stroll through Pier 39, having a look around. That nice. Yeah, that does smell nice. Pier Market, that smells good. So we're just having a browse, having a look around, because last time we were here when it was light, but obviously now it's dark, so we're just having a little wander. So we have just left Pier 39 and it is getting really quite cold now. Keeping in mind, I'm still in shorts and it's getting cold. There's the Mustang over there, an old one. But yeah, um, we're just ordering a, I think we're, we're getting a taxi. There's a few coming in, Ricky. Ricky. Oh. Okay, well we ordered an Uber. And the Uber's one minute away, so we'll just wait for that. But yeah, here we go, we're leaving there. And we'll be back at the hotel very, very shortly. Oh, it's so cold. Look at how the... Remember, we're ne next to the sea. And look how the, fa the flags are blowing. So you know how, warm it, how, sorry, how cold it is right now. But taxi's en route. Back at the hotel now. Uh, I'm actually quite pooped, if I'm being honest. Jet lag. Yeah. We're just on our way back up to our room. 
It is just gone at eight in the evening. Yeah, I'm really knackered if, if you ask me. You can kind of see the Golden Gate Bridge over there. 